what I have is some barium hydroxide. Okay, I'm going to put this into the... In fact, you know what? I'm going to do this in one of the beakers, not that thing, because it's ridiculous. Barium hydroxide, and I've got some ammonium chloride. Now, what I'm going to do is mix these together, and hopefully we should see a endothermic reaction. Yes? What's with the hand stuff? What hand stuff? The hand sanitizer. Yeah. Oh, it just lives on my desk. Oh. I was chopping up hearts earlier, and yeah, I need to be not oh, covered lovely. in blood. So, what I'm going to do to show how exothermic this is, how much heat this is taking in, I'm going to make this wooden block wet. Okay? Now, um, you will see why I've done that in a second. So, I'm going to mix these two things together and carefully... Um, in fact, what? I'm going to that up a bit. Mix these two things together. Well, hopefully not, because if it's blowing up and giving out huge amounts of energy like that, that would be what type of reaction? Ex exothermic. Now, we want to see endothermic, so it's going to be a little bit more subtle. So, I mix the barium hydroxide and the ammonium chloride together, and they should start to react. Does it freeze itself? Well, we should soon see. So, they're mixing together. Now, can you see how the consistency of that is changing slightly? It's sort of clumping together, because one of the products it's making is water in this reaction. And you can see, actually, that's all gone liquid, and milk. it was all just solid powders. It's not milk. You wouldn't want to put it in coffee. Oh. Okay, if you put that in coffee, oh, it would be in problems. Now, one of the products of this, because it's ammonium chloride, is it's giving off ammonia, which smells rather horrible. Like and I'd forgotten ammonia. about that, which is why I just breathed the huge load in. Um, <laughs> That whole, sort of horrible, slightly tangy smell in we is um, oh, sort of no. ammonia like. Oh, is that what I can yeah. smell? Yeah, that's what you can smell. <laughs> Unless you've wet yourself, that is the, that is the best thing you can smell. Okay? But also, actually, I'm, this is getting actually very cold as it's going along. Okay? Now, hopefully, if this has worked, okay. it's getting cold enough. Well, you know, I put water on the base there. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Oh. It's actually yeah. frozen the water onto the bottom. <laughs> now, this reaction has worked so well. So much energy has had to be taken out of the environment. It's got that water so cold that it's dropped below freezing and frozen onto the bottom. How and cold that is, it? is pretty cool. It's so How cold is it? Uh, well, I haven't got a thermometer. I'm an absolute liar. So, I can put that there. Um, that is dropping down to... Well, we know it's below what? Zero. 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 So, um, this thermometer is calibrated to minus ten. It's shot down to minus five by about now, um, and it's carrying on going. Will it freeze our fingers? Uh, if you had it on there, yeah, it would start to... to in fact, there's actually ice crystals forming on the side can of I, there. Can I touch the side? Oh, cool. Is it cool? Yeah. Uh, no. 